Irish woman who spent a decade of her life spinning in the air. I had thought that you had to be born into the circus to learn anything like that. Ashley Nikialik is an award-winning aerialist whose talent has taken her around the world. Whether she's performing in India or Canada, home to her is mid-air on a stage, creating a visual story with the movements of her body. It was 10 years ago that Ashleen first discovered Ariel. She had come across a Facebook post by a company called Fidget Feet. They were promoting the Irish Ariel Dance Festival, which takes place in Letterkenny every year. I was graduating that year, so I had to decide between celebrating by going to this festival or going to Electric Picnic where all my friends are going. Um, I just decided the festival was just going to be something I'd never forget, like a once in a lifetime week to get on circus equipment. Um, and little did I realise that it was not going to be once in a lifetime, that <laughs> it was going to take over my entire life. Ashleen got to perform solo for the first time in 2012. Back then, there were very few aerial dancers in Ireland. I started getting little bits of work with the company that organised the festival, Fidget Feet. Um, and they started to give me loads of training. Um, I got to be involved with creating shows with them. Um, and as the years went by, I started to find other people to train with. And I started to specialise particularly in aerial hoop. Ashleen, who was studying business in school at the time, had a choice to make. She could either pursue a traditional career path or follow her heart's desire. So, in her mid-twenties, she decided to take a leap of faith. And this is what that looked like. There's an impression that there's a really important thing that you need to... There's an impression that you need to be young and you need to be fit and strong before you start. Um, and that's really not true. You can start at any age, you can start in any, any shape of your life, wherever you are in it. Um, and it's, it's also wonderful because there's no aim in it. It's not a fitness thing, it's, it's something you find joy in and you do for fun. And fitness can come with it, but it's, they're not linked. Ashleen is now 34 years old and back at the event that shaped her life. This hall is full of people who have travelled from all over the world to be part of the 10th Aerial Dance Festival in Donegal. This event attracts all types of performers. I'm an Irish dancer, that's what I do professionally, and through traveling as a dancer I've met many Irish artists and it just kind of led to me eventually meeting an aerialist that uh, teaches at the festival here and they just inspired me about two years ago. They got me into it and I've been kind of non-stop since. Like, I live in Scotland and there is an aerial community in Scotland but like because I work with some of the Irish gang as well and like you don't get to see them necessarily all of the time and especially people who just come to the festival and you meet you make such good friends here it's like such a nice atmosphere and uh, getting to see those people then again year on year is so nice and everyone has progressed more and you get like to have teach a whole new skill set into Ireland which is really 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 great. Donegal native Chantelle McCormack is the CEO of Fidget Feet. Over the last 25 years, she's been bringing aerial dance to Ireland. A dancer and choreographer herself, she has discovered many new talents and connected them with big opportunities. I really wanted to have Irish-based, Irish-born artists like me do an aerial at a high skill. So that's why we started the Aerial Dance Festival, so that we could bring international um, artists to the country that could raise the technique here. And so now, like Ashleen, she's one of the Fidget Feet core artists. She grew here, so the difference is that there was nothing here in the form of aerial dance and now it's so rich. Like venues know what we do, Arts Council funds us, uh, 
audiences understand it and you know there's still a long way to go but it's 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 successful for those who've traveled to be here today the following few days will be about making connections and taking home new ideas for Ashling though training does not end here Originally from Dublin, Ashley now lives in Sligo with her two partners, Max and Jenny. When she moved here, a friend of hers offered her the Acro Air studio space to work from. I'd been coming down to Sligo for workshops and for teaching and every time I came down there's a little bit, I'd fall a little bit more in love with the place. It's, there's something really magic here. A lot of work that I've been making recently has been really influenced by nature and I've definitely been inspired by all the beautiful beaches around Sligo and going for walks with the dogs and getting into the sea. Um, I've really found it's creeping into my work in every, in every space. Ashleen has produced several of her own shows. The most recent one was developed with her partner Jenny during the lockdown days. We've created NOSC, which means um, connection and um, like a tying together in Irish and uh, quite different from what it was. Um, and when we came together in the room, finally after almost two years of being separated from other humans, all we were doing was just finding these connections with each other and like reveling in it. Finally having human contact and having the people you love in the same room. And so the show really became about our connections with ourselves and the connections we have to one another and how that forms a group and how beautiful that can be. If you ask any aerialist, amateur or professional who has a partner who's not in this world, just ask them how heartbreaking it is to be like, look what I did today, look at this, and have them go, cool. <laughs> and it's not malicious, it's just that you have no idea how much work went into a tiny movement unless you've been there. So it's really wonderful to have someone in the room who understands how high the highs are and understands how low the lows are and just can support you in that way. NASC will be touring again next summer and Ashleen hopes that by showing people what is artistically possible through an aerial performance, more people will take an interest. What I aim to do when I go on stage is I want the audience to see me and I want them to feel seen. When you feel it flowing and you feel like you're sharing that and you can feel the audience are feeling what you're feeling, it's the best thing in the whole world. And often that's all I want, even in an hour long show, it's just one feeling I want the audience to feel as I'm feeling it. And then I feel like that, that's just magic. It's the whole reason I, I love this job so much. That looks so graceful and easy, but it takes absolutely years of practice. And the good news is that there will be an aerialist performance as part of Culture Night next Friday.